Um, first question, what is a typical day like for the PGY2? Josh? <laughs> I have to go first. <laughs> because we'll just go around. Well, I think it really it highly depends on which rotation you're on. Um, if you're on glaucoma, um, you typically get there. Well, lecture is always at seven a.m. Right now, we're doing Zoom because of uh, the whole uh, COVID epi uh, pandemic. But uh, before that, we would start lecture at seven a.m. We'd have to be uh, physically present in the lecture hall, and then the clinic starts at eight a.m. Typically goes to around five or six p.m. Uh, depending on how busy the clinic is that day and which attending you're working with. And uh, it's a pretty overall uh, chill experience. Um, you, you work well with the attendings. The attendings are great people. Um, and you see the patients, uh, and then the attending sees them afterwards. Sometimes you go in with the attending and you, you talk about your plan uh, with the attending. Um, and that's kind of the flow of the day of, of glaucoma. And then you take call once in a while um, every weekend when you're not on the on the uh, primary call service as, as the rotation itself. Yep. And you when, you're, when you're on the uh, primary uh, call service during the week, we have a night foot system. So there's two people on the consult service. One does the day and then one is on the night from Sunday night to Thursday night. And then the weekend team takes over from there. But during the day, um, we typically, you know, like Josh said, lecture in the morning at seven and then um, after that, you know, you kind of round on all the inpatients that need to be seen. And this is a great rotation to uh, kind of become comfortable with uh, a lot of autonomy. You're, you're seeing the patients um, with you and maybe just one other uh, resident, the intern, uh, that you're able to uh, teach on the rotation. And then any questions you have along the way and when you're staffing all the patients, we have a dedicated um, consult attending, Dr. John Bond, who is amazing. He's a neuro-ophthalmologist, and uh, we also have subspecialty, all the subspecialties represented on the consult service as well. So anything that needs to be staffed with retina, oculoplastics, glaucoma, uh, we have fellows that we staff the patients with, and as well as the attendings, uh, any questions that we have. Um, and it's great, great experience. The night float is a great system too. It, it, you know, allows us all to kind of be refreshed during the week and ready for your own clinic responsibilities if you're not on the consult service. Um, I think that's uh, can, can be sometimes a major limitation for other um, institutions when they don't have that system because, uh, you know, you, you get really tired on the post-call day if you have to come back to work um, and, you know, not maybe not uh, perform your best on those days. So the night float is great and uh, it's, it's worked out as a great system for us. Yeah, uh, oculoplastics is pretty similar to glaucoma, like Josh was saying. So it's, <clears throat> you're in the attendings clinic. Uh, when you're there, you'll see the patients first, talk through the patients with um, the attending, and then go see with the attending. Um, oculoplastics is probably where we get the best operative experience, I would say, first year. So there's at least one, sometimes two days per week, where um, you'll be in the operating room all day with one of the attendings. and. Um, sort of over the, the time you get a little more autonomy and start doing more procedures, um, you know, primarily rather than just assisting, which is good. Um, we also have a fellow who it's great to have, you know, an extra set of ears to, uh, you know, talk through things with and sort of show you different techniques that they picked up from their home institutions. And um, it's nice to just have somebody else who's there a lot of the time. Um, overall, pretty good. Um, it's a good rotation. It's a really good learning experience. Um, all three of the attendings that we have are awesome and they're really, uh, really welcome to teaching and letting you do things. So, um, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, and then lastly, I can talk about the VA. Uh, VA is a great place because you kind of get a little bit of everything throughout the week. Um, Monday and Tuesdays are comprehensive ophthalmology. Uh, and then Wednesday you have cornea and oculoplastics. Thursdays you have glaucoma and then Fridays you have retina. Um, it's a great place because there's a whole lot of autonomy. You see all of your patients um, by yourself, but you also staff them with the attending so you feel very comfortable with it initially. Um, it's also a great place to start doing procedures. Um, you know, as a first year you'll get to do YAGs, uh, a lot of injections as well. Um, and then this is, uh, the, this is where most of our seniors get their operative experience with um, mostly cataract surgeries or glaucoma surgeries, et cetera, and also oculoplastics. Um, so it's a great place to learn and uh, I've really enjoyed it so far. Right. Okay.
Yeah. Cool. Um, I think this is a good video.